Jesus Christ's earthly ministry lasted about three years. Here we are at the beginning of Mark chapter 6, and we're already two full years into his ministry. That's how quickly that Mark moves through, through Jesus' life and ministry. A reminder, if you're not too familiar with it, Jesus' three years of ministry are often summarized as the first year being his year of inauguration. That's when through some miraculous signs and some bold appearances, he begins to introduce himself to the world as the promised Messiah. His second year is called his year of popularity. He goes on some big preaching tours and begins to spell out for people exactly who he is and why he's come. That's when he draws huge crowds by the tens of thousands. Now we're at the beginning of his last year. We call it his year of opposition. Because Jesus has begun to boldly proclaim to people that he is the son of God come into this world and that salvation only comes through faith in him, they reject him. In Mark 6, you see that in maybe some surprising ways as some of the people who who would have and should have known him best even turn their backs on him. But Jesus still goes about his work. Go ahead and pause the screen and read Mark chapter 6. You know, something to think about uh, as you leave this time in God's word. Jesus praised John the Baptist He was the last great Old Testament prophet. And Jesus said that he was the greatest born of women. And God allows him to die in a really um, shameful way. Beheaded by a murderous king at the request of of a dancing teenage girl. That's worth thinking about. Sometimes as we go about our lives, we face suffering or rejection or hardship, and we're we're tempted to think that that must mean that God has left us, that he's upset at us, that he just doesn't care about the things going on in our lives. That's not true at all. As we live in an evil world, God allows pain and problems to come into the lives, even of the people that he so dearly loves. Are you going through hard times like that? That doesn't mean that his love has ever left you. So go to that love. Take whatever problems or worries you have to him as you go to him in prayer today. Maybe consider saying the words of the Lord's Prayer or Martin Luther's evening prayer that are about to be on your screen. God, continue to bless you and keep you.